What's up everyone? For today's video, I'm gonna give you an update on how things are going with the new 1648 John Boat build. Now, as you may be able to see behind me, things have not been going well. This boat has been basically sitting in my garage for the last month and a half or so with nothing being done to it. And the reason for that was that the gentleman I bought the boat from never gave me the title. If you watch the John Boat Buying Guide video, you'll know one of my most important tips for buying a used boat is to make sure you have your paperwork in order. Dealing with a boat without a title is an absolute nightmare and not something that I would recommend. If you've been following off the channel, you'll know that I was not able to work it out with the seller. Uh, eventually, he just stopped responding to me. He turned out to just be untruthful and dishonest person. So when you work with people like that, sometimes you have to take an alternate route to get to where you're trying to get to. So what I ended up doing was going through a court process where you petition your BMV or DMV for a court ordered title. So what that means is that you basically prepare all of your information on why you don't have a title, why you should have a title, uh, how you purchased the boat, and all the related information that a judge would need to know to make a ruling on whether or not you're the rightful owner of the boat. So this was done about a month and a half ago. Um, I had to put down a 300 something dollar uh, court fee deposit. Uh, I had to put together a whole packet of information. I was working with an investigator at the DMV uh, to kind of go over everything that I knew and that I should provide. And they were able to do some things on their end to either confirm my information or obtain information that I didn't have access to. So between myself and the title investigator, we put together a packet, we submitted it to the court and we set a court date. I am just now getting home from my court appearance and I'm happy to report that the title was issued in my name. The judge ruled that I am not at fault for not having the title and that her ruling will be mailed to me, to which I can take to the BMV, and a brand new title will be assigned in my name for this boat. Needless to say, I am absolutely thrilled. This has been weighing on me. It's been slowing up the content I've been wanting to put out for this channel. It's been stressing me out because I already put $500 into the boat itself, plus the court fees. So if this didn't go my way today, I would have been out you know, quite a bit of money. But now that it has gone in my favor, I am ready to hit the ground running and I have so many great ideas for this boat. As you can see, over the last month and a half, it's unfortunately turned into a bit of a storage boat. Uh, I've got some supplies for the quail cage over there. I've just been collecting different parts. I got the box for the miter saw, if you guys have been watching the workshop build. So yeah, this thing definitely needs to get cleaned up. So for this video, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on how things were going, deliver the good news. The boat project is on and I'll hopefully have some new content out for this really soon. Um, for now, I'm gonna work on getting this cleaned up and then I'm gonna do a full proper walkthrough of the boat, all of its really awesome features that I think it's gonna make a awesome, awesome build platform and show you guys where we're at. So if you guys wanna follow along with the John Boat build, don't forget to subscribe if you're not. If you guys got any ideas on what you think I should do with this boat build, I'm all ears. I've got some great ideas myself, but some of the best ideas I get from in the comments. So thanks for watching and I'll have an update soon. So just a quick workshop update, if you guys have been following along with that. The last video I put out was for the miter saw stand and it has worked phenomenally. Since then, I was able to put some cabinets together, got those mounted on the wall. I built some quick shelves just to kind of get an idea of what I was doing over there. I put together this wall mounted organizer. I think this is gonna be really helpful for the actual Jumbo builds, considering all the different hardware and rivets and things like that that I'm gonna need to have organized. Uh, still yet to do is gonna be some pegboard, uh, uh, sealing the countertops and just coming up with a little bit more storage solutions but it's really coming along i'm really happy with it the next couple things are going to be mounting a vise uh doing a little bit more framing for just some extra shelving and things like that but i really think this is in a great position now to give me a whole workspace to work on the boat